So I'm giving two weeks notice in this video to an app that could be defined as a productivity app, a note-taking app, a project management app, a brainstorming app, a planning app, a so many different things kind of app, which is great, but it can also be a problem unless you get really clear about how you want to use it. This time around, I'm giving two weeks notice to Notion. Okay, so I've been looking at Notion kind of from a distance for a long time, and there's a reason for that. I've been through the gamut with many apps in the past. Evernote would be a great example, but there are so many different apps out there, and some of them come and some of them go. The key is to making sure that you invest your time and attention in the apps that are going to work for you. And what I've found over the years through my experience is that you want to invest your time in apps that do maybe only a couple of things really, really well, and then you can add them all to what I would call your productivity gestalt. If you remember the TV show Voltron, uh, or even you know the idea of the Transformers that would combine, you would put those things together, they would make a much larger robot. That's what I call like a productivity gestalt. So all of these apps kind of coming together for a productivity workflow, with each of them doing one thing better than another, and they all kind of have a lot of you know crossover or a lot of overlap in between them. One of the things that I found during my intense study of Notion was the idea that you could do pretty much anything with Notion. And you could. You could do some to-do list management. You could do some project management. You could do journaling. And as I went through all of the different uh, tutorials and just spending time with Notion, I realized that yes, you could make all of these things happen. But do you want to? I think that's the key. I think the problem that I've heard a lot of people have with Notion is that they don't quite know what to use it for. So they just leave it all together. And I don't think that's a solution either. I think that there's a lot of cool things that you can do with Notion. I think it's really about honing in on the specific things that are missing in your workflow and then seeing if Notion can fill that gap because it has, in that respect, done that for me. Evernote has, in recent months and even years, kind of taken a bit of a back seat in terms of development. Yes, I know that they're making some changes and they've had a lot of turnover and churn in terms of some of the people that work for the company. And I think that that is going to make things different for them going forward. But Notion's kind of taken advantage of that. And I really look to whether or not Notion could replace Evernote altogether. And I can confidently say that it can. Now, if you're already invested heavily in Evernote and you want to do an import like I did, uh, it's going to take a lot of pruning once you've done that. And that's one of the first things I did when I took on Notion. As I said, let me bring the things from Evernote into Notion. And there is an importer tool, but if you've got a lot of notes in Evernote, what you may want to do is spend some time pruning Evernote first. Now there's a danger to that in that you will get back into Evernote and you will start to play with it within there. So if you go in there with the mission of, hey, I'm going to prune my Evernote notes so I can get them into this other app, Notion, then you're going to be in a much better place than if you just go into Evernote without that mission in mind. So if you're going to switch apps, whether it's a to-do list app from one to another or whether it's doing this move from Evernote to Notion, make sure that you kind of clean things up in that existing place first before you move to another location. I mean, you'd do the same if you were moving from house to another house, right? You would pack up and organize and then you would place them in the new house. Just do the same thing. Do some general housekeeping first before you make that move. If you don't, it's going to make the migration far less pleasurable. And then when you finally get into Notion, you're going to be sitting there going, oh man, this is such a pain. And it won't be Notion's fault. It'll be the fact that you've got all this stuff that you're trying to organize. Remember, garbage in, garbage out in a lot of cases, right? So if you come in with a clean slate into Notion, you're going to have a much better experience with it out of the gate. Now, the other thing that I noticed as I was looking at how I would use Notion is I started to look at what other people experienced with Notion. For example, I looked at what Thomas Frank was doing. Uh, Thomas Frank has been doing some amazing things with Notion when it comes to filming and, and, and the idea of how he organizes his YouTube videos. Putting together YouTube videos has been fairly new for me, I, and, and, and I needed something to help me with that. And yes, I know some of my project management tools can help with that, but what about when I'm in that ideation phase? And then the workflow phase. Notion 
would be a great place to put that sort of thing. So instead of reinventing the wheel, I just looked at what Thomas did and tried to emulate it. Now, I'm nowhere near at that level yet, and there's a lot of nuance to this, but I can say confidently that this is one area that I think I'm going to spend more time with in Notion, is using it for my filmmaking goals. Now, another thing that I've decided that Notion would be really good for for me is planning. I love to plan on paper. I really am into mind mapping and all that stuff, but I like to do that in analog form. Well, when I'm putting together my annual plan, my now year action plan, I thought, what if I was to try to do this inside of Notion? And it really does work pretty well once you set things up. Now, this is the first template that I'm kind of putting together. And it's not going to be pretty out of the gate. There's a lot of fine tuning that I can do. And what I love about Notion, which, by the way, this is not unique to Notion, is that it can grow with me. Okay, so as I get better using Notion, I can do more things with it. It's got a lot of potential. It's like, it's like an app that's basically molded clay. I can make it work the way I want it to for various activities, and that's one of the things I really like. So again, you can grow with you. You don't want to necessarily try to get too far ahead of yourself with an app like this, though, because then you can get lost. So I'm not going to be using Notion for things like task management, especially day-to-day -day task management. It's not really designed for that. Mind you, Evernote was never designed for that either. I believe that there are far better tools to do project management in terms of dating and prioritization, and same thing with to-do list kind of things. So Notion is not going to fill that gap for me. As I dug deeper into Notion, I thought this could be a suitable place to keep my daily journals. But this is where I think using a tool specifically for certain things can make a lot more sense. So for example, I've talked about using Evernote for journaling before. And while I think that's viable, uh, Notion can fill the same kind of gap. So if you are not journaling already and you don't want to use a dedicated app or even a paper journal for this, Notion can fill that gap for you. This is where I think that if you're already using something that's going to fit the bill fine for you and it's it's not going to make a huge difference for you to switch that's where I say stick with it. So I'm sticking with day one for journaling right now. That's not to say Notion can't do it. There's plenty of examples out there where Notion can handle daily journaling and, and even a journaling habit that isn't daily. But for me right now, Notion is not going to fit that kind of uh, use case. I believe that right now for me, Notion is going to be great for expanding my film horizons. Notice I'm not using it for my podcasts either. I've already got an application that's already well established and I've got templates already set up in my my task management app of choice. So that's where that's living. So no podcasting stuff is going to go there. But for filming, yes. For my, you know, my annual planning, absolutely. But for journaling, no. This is where I really wanted to spend time when it came to this series of the, this two weeks notice series is I wanted to be able to share with you whether or not the tool, whether it's an app or a process or a piece of gear that I'm using, is going to fit in with my workflow going forward. What I always will do with these kind of series is I will create a playlist that will offer some kind of the best of videos, the, the research that I've done, so that you can kind of mimic my path if you want. So all of those videos that I watched, whether they're from uh, Francesco from Keep Productive, whether they're from Thomas, as I mentioned, whether they're from Marie, for Notion, you're going to find that playlist. So I'll make sure that you, you can check that. Out. Just, you know, look there and you'll be able to get it. But also, I wanted to let you know whether or not this this tool, this piece of gear, this this process is going to be something that fits into my workflow going forward. And I can say yes. Notion, I'm glad I waited, honestly, because I was able to really look and see where it would fit, but I can feel that after spending 20 hours with this tool, and primarily just doing research, now I'm ready to spend more active time playing with it and seeing what it can do with me in those very two particular realms I spoke of, the, the filming component and also the planning component. That's where I see it fitting in for me. And if you're not using Notion yet and you're looking to have a tool that can help you out with things like content calendar, planning, things like that, I think it fits in there very well. If you're not using an app for journaling already, again, Notion can be a great tool for that. But if you're looking for task management, I don't believe Notion handles that very well at all. And also the mobile experience experience, it needs some work. I'm a big iPad user. I love my iPad Pro. I, I really would love it if I was able to do everything that I wanted to do on my iPad. 
I can't. I need to use my iMac for some of this stuff, especially, you know, a lot of the template stuff and things that the, the fine tuning. And that's not, again, unique to Notion. There are a lot of apps out there that, you know, you have to be able to get your hands on a, a traditional laptop or, or a desktop to make it work to the best of, of, of its capability. I, I'm looking forward to seeing more apps leaning into the mobile space, especially tablets. But right now, I would say that if you're going to be using a tool like Notion, you're going to want to be able to spend some time on it on the desktop. I would say that all of the time that I spent setting things up in Notion, I was on my iMac. Now, I can go into my, my mobile app, whether it's on the iPhone or the iPad, and see a lot of the stuff that I've done and make some changes in, in some respects. But if I'm going to get in deep, I need to be on my iMac. So you're going to find the same, which is, again, another reason why I would not use it for ongoing task management and project management. I would use it for the big picture kind of stuff or the stuff that I don't necessarily need to look at and make changes to on an everyday basis. So there you go. Notion has made it through two weeks notice. I'm going to stick with Notion. I'm going to keep growing with it. I'm going to find out what else I can get out of Notion over the many weeks, months, and hopefully years to come. So I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I'm going to have, of course, the link to the playlist that you can check out all the stuff that I looked at when going through this process of two weeks notice with Notion. So you can review those as well. And if there's anything that you want me to give two weeks notice to, again, leave that in the comments below, whether it's an app that you're interested in me looking at, whether it's a process, whether it's a piece of equipment or gear, I'd be happy to check it out. See you later.